In 1847, Douglas T. Kilburn, an English-born resident in Melbourne, set up the first permanent photographic studio in the still new city. The main income for the business was expected to come from portrait commissions. Kilburn also undertook a speculative venture, making portraits of Port Phillip indigenous people visiting town, which he planned to sell in London. He later told of the exercise of persuading his subjects to sit for him and how, upon seeing their likeness so suddenly fixed, they took him for nothing less than a sorcerer. At the time, portrait exposures still took at least a minute and sitters usually had to be braced or supported. Given the restriction of the medium, the vibrancy of this image is remarkable. Rather than appearing frightened or nervous, the look on the faces of the sitters is more one of lively curiosity. Sadly for Kilburn, there was little local interest in the images and hoped for sales in London also failed to materialise. Kilburn's portraits are the earliest surviving photographic records of Indigenous people in Australia and are among the earliest anywhere of Indigenous people. A group of at least eight were sent to England for use as the basis for drawn and engraved illustrations and remarkably five of these have survived. <laughs>